already. So uh, I'm not in the exact same spot as last time. I also got rid of that fucking grain, whatever it was. But uh, I'm a little, little farther ahead than when I was in the videos because I Sam's been compiling our star charts. A lot of stuff. The other pilots on the Nexus will have plenty of new trails to follow. You can drop the charts off the next time we're there. Funny. A few months ago, that station was like a war zone. Flying was my only way to escape the chaos. Now it's become a haven, just as it was meant to be. Everyone's really working to get the Nexus on its feet. Regardless. The worst threat to the whole initiative is still that monstrosity. You mean the Scourge? I still see it crippling the Nexus in my memories. I had to train other pilots in hazardous flight techniques just to look for food and water. It's a cage that eats good ships and good people. Helios won't be home so long as it's a threat. The Angara live with it, and so can we. And if every one of our colonists was an ace pilot, I wouldn't be worried. If we could somehow neutralize it, or if our ships had defenses against it. Still, that's what we do, isn't it? Find a way where there is none. Just see the Nexus for proof of that. But yeah, like, I'm a little further ahead because I took time to, like, scan some planets and whatnot. So, uh... Yeah, that's why I seem a little further than when I was in the last video. All I did was scan some stuff, and... A little story thing popped up, but it wasn't too big, so I didn't think it was that important. To zoom into every planet. Yes, land. Trade? Trade. Trade. Are you asking or telling? I'm wondering. Do you exchange goods and services? How does your economy work? We pay for things with a currency called credits. Abstract wealth. The cat offered gifts. Made odd bargains. Never traded. What are your credits worth? What can we do with them? You pay them to us for whatever we're selling. Well, now we cut open the heart. And what do you offer? I don't know. What do you want? Your ship. Not for sale. Worth a try. Is there something else I can do for you? Yes. Call me Soka. I run cargo between Aya and other worlds. Good work. Good at it. You're here to help my people. Prove it. I need help. One of my suppliers off-world stopped checking in. Has things I need. There could be trouble. What makes you think I can help? You found Aya, maybe you find my supplier. 
Can't hurt to us. You are one of few people here willing to give me a chance. I'll take it. You have a ship? I have my supplies now. His name is Kelvin. Find him, his supplies. Come back and prove you're helpful. Then maybe we trade. Okay. Let's go take care of that then. All systems green. Valed. Was Valed.
Can I find something? Anything? Nothing there. Anomaly on sensors. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Oh, batteries are nearly gone. Just this showing every time, like, why? Anomaly on sensors. Deploying probe. Deploying probe. Detecting what's left of a ship. Picking up something. Deploying probe. Anomaly found. Okay, bundle up, people. I'll stay on my nice warm ship. Okay. I think I have all I want to take. Take her down, Callow. Designated this planet Habitat 6. Original readings suggest that it had a breathable nitrogen rich atmosphere and oceans of H2O. I take it that's no longer the case. All H2O on Habitat 6 folds the Angarai is ice. And those oceans, 
frozen over completely. Then there goes the dream of a seaside property. That's a pretty intense blizzard. LZ is on the windward side of the mountain. Conditions are bad. I'm tracking gale force squalls. Push? Very funny, Ryder. Oh, Suvi wasn't kidding about the cold. Secret hideout. Snow and ice camouflages everything. Keep going, Ryder. Try not to make any sudden movements. You'll probably be watched. Great. They really mean business, don't they? at the base now. Make sure you talk to Commander Anyik when you arrive. I'm reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Mm. Life support is back online. Severe temperature drop. You get clearance to take off yet? Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. But I love you. Hey. You are? I know. Hi there, explorer. Very impressive vehicle, yes? We call it the Nomad. I'm an amateur mechanic myself. Build vehicles for my people. Upload this schematic for your mechanic, with my compliments. They can upgrade your vehicle shielding once you find the needed components. He lives for this shit. It will make his day. My long lost brother. <laughs> You can find some of what you need here on Vol. The rest, out and about. like medical supplies. Probably shouldn't tamper with them. Looks like supplies aren't getting through to the resistance.
I suppose, was I supposed to be like for like Shepard or probably as much into it? Can talk to. Yes, what is it? You're that alien I've been talking about on comms, aren't you? Why are you standing here? Shouldn't you be talking to the commander? I'm Pathfinder Ryder with the Andromeda Initiative, from... Wonderful. You're from far away. Do they have magical healing where you were from? Nothing more advanced than what you have. Then where you're from is useless to me right now. Stand over there. The commander said the alien wanted to help, but we need him. Emergency caches, maybe. Emergency caches? This is a war zone. Ked attacks are always a risk. Wounded. There's probably a cache of emergency medical supplies nearby. No substitute for real medical attention, but you'll survive long enough to reach it. Problem is the caches are empty right now. It's strange that no one's been out there to replenish supplies. There's no time to waste. I'll help with whatever you need. Supply crates are stacked by the wall over there. Directions to the caches are with them. You have a vehicle? Of course. Good. Get going. You're the alien Jarl brought. A possible asset, he says. We've allowed you into our base at his request. I am Anyik Dozil. Remember the name, because if you betray us, I will kill you myself. Be assured that what I do to you will make the stars turn their faces and grow dark. I have no intention of betraying you. Say what you want. It is the hands that reveal true intention. If you wish to prove yourself, be an ally in our fight against the Ket. Despite our best efforts, their growing forces remain a threat to our people. Speak to our lookouts who watch the valley. They'll know where our need is dire. Go now. I have other things to attend to. Pathfinder, something I can do for you? You the requisitions officer? I hear you're having supply issues. Of course not. I don't know what you've heard, but everything is running fine. I saw the messages sent to you. What are you hiding? Keep your voice down. I need to keep this news contained. No one knows the shipments have stopped. If word gets around, we'll have a serious morale drop. I need to investigate this quietly. You have any leads? Not much. The supplies make it vanicide, but never reach the base. The obvious answer is the Ket. Sabotage is their style. We changed our drop point, but no luck. I can't send someone to investigate without word getting around. I guess there's no avoiding it eventually. I can take a look at the drop point. That way, no one will panic. I can't sanction an official search, but I also can't stop you from investigating on your own. The nav point for the last drop location is in my personal console. You seem to be adept at decryption, so I'll let you figure out the rest. Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. But I brought the snack. Whoa! Didn't mean to sneak up on you. Your commander said you could show us the valley. Zeke, I don't want to talk to it. You talk to it. Stop it, Beniska. The commander sent word. We knew they were coming. Yeah, we can show you the valley. What are you looking for? I want to prove I'm here as an ally. That means fighting Ket. Head in any direction and you'll hit Ket eventually. They're all over Vold. Like Quirts. 
but with guns. We've heard reports about captured Angara in a cat labor camp down in the valley. If you're here to help, like the commander says, you could start there. Anything else? What are those red lights down there? That's Hajara, just one of the Dar in the valley. There's people there that might need help if you haven't checked it out already. Is it difficult to live out here? Why so surprised? We've adapted to this weather. Those lights are conspicuous. Don't the cat attack? We've adapted to that too. The cat wants to take us alive, so we fight to the death. It seems to deter them. What's that alien facility on that mountain over there? That's the Ket Command Center. We have constant eyes on it. What's its purpose? It controls Ket operations on the entire planet. There's always ships coming and going. I came face to face with the Prefect there. Meanest, motherless Visan I ever saw. Even the Ket seemed afraid. We don't have much intel on her, though. Do you know of any remnant sites or ruins? Uh, I think so. Actually, I don't know. Seek, do you ever read the dailies? No, you'll tell me if I need to know something. So where is it? Tall lights, over on your right somewhere. I'll let you get back to your work. Yeah, you behave, we're watching you. Tempest, we're gonna need the Nomad, my position. Deploying forward station. Good luck, Ryder. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Okay, Sam, what's Bold got for us? Cat activity appears to be centered around this large central command post. According to Resistance Intelligence, the base coordinates all Cat military efforts on Bold. And taking it down will cripple their operations. In theory. However, given the trouble the Angara Resistance has had infiltrating the base, it will not be a simple task. I recommend a more cautious approach that starts with the investigation of smaller Ket installations. Any suggestions on how to get on Ephra's good side? Resistance dispatches indicate there is someone in Hojara who needs help. We could visit Tekix, a larger and more established Angara Dar that is nearby. Sounds good. Thanks, Sam. Pathfinder, Bold's temperature range is fixed well below freezing, with pockets of even more severe conditions. This necessitates the use of the Nomad. I advise against prolonged exposure to the cold. Got it. Don't crash the car. Our scans have detected remnant monoliths, which suggests the presence of a vault. And that means we might be able to melt this ice cube. All right, we've got our work cut out for us. Let's get going. Extreme cold is detected, Pathfinder. Town Hill's always more fun. Trust me. Can you even see through this snow? see a so-called golden world that won't be complete death to live on I'd live here but then I could probably live anywhere Pathfinder this area can be mined for resources you can extract minerals via your mining interface Clean up that cat camp.
Keep it up. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Manual says the Nomad's good for all weather conditions, but they did those tests in the Milky Way. I swear I will turn this car around. My sensors are detecting KET technology, Pathfinder. Get ready to fight!
are nearing the nav point provided by Sokar Esop on Aya. Fight happened here. No bodies, though. I detect traces of weapons fire, consistent with CAT's technology. CAT? Great. Looks like Soka's supplier is dead. Found them. Scans reveal these crates contain Angaran weapons. Oh, really now? Ha, sneaky bastard. That merchant is resistance. I hope the Angara know we're nothing like the Ket. I wouldn't want them as an enemy. They're a tough bunch. Lots of respect for the Angara. The way they fight, <laughs> it's almost Krogan. Kept machines up ahead. I'm detecting below normal temperatures. Oh. 